Rebel fighters in Libya are bearing down on Muammar Gaddafi's last major stronghold, the capital city of Tripoli. We'll go to our correspondent in the war zone in a few minutes. But first, we'll start today in this country, where holding on to the American dream is keeping a lot of people up at night. Say you own a house in St. Paul, Minnesota. It costs you $172,000. That's the median sales price of a single-family home in the U.S. right now. You're able to make your monthly payments, but like many Americans, just barely. This is your little slice of the American dream. Now let's say someone tells you they're going to raise your interest rate, and they're going to cut the value of your house, and they're going to take away the tax deduction that you get for mortgage interest. And what if that person tried to tell you that all of that would actually be good for you? Our cover story today, how much help should the government be giving homeowners? There's a small group of economists and even a few policymakers who say Washington needs to stop propping up a broken system. Viral Acharya, a New York University professor, is one of them. The whole slew of subsidies that we have for housing in the United States are not in the end making everyone better off. 